I'm Phil Berman from Balanced Catamarans, and I'm here in uh, St. Francis, South Africa with Jonathan Parmon, the chief builder here at the factory. We're standing on hull number two of the new Balance 580, and across the way, we're also working on hull number one. One of the things that Johnny and I were talking about is whenever we do a new boat, we really take our time on the first few boats to make sure that all of the deck gear, the winches, the systems, every little thing. It's one thing to take a drawing that we do on paper and then move it down into the shop floor. And here, for example, you'll see these funny looking little wooden spindles. Um, this is Johnny's idea of a, of, a, of a fake winch as he waits for the real winches to come for the boat. And so what's the purpose of this and also the purpose of uh, putting all this deck gear uh, down, on, uh, down on the coach top? And that's because Johnny wants to like explore exactly how all of the ergonomics are going to work to make sure that before he does any final installations, he feels that it's going to be as efficient as possible. It's just about placing it all in the right positions, allowing it to, uh, you know, to be standing here where I am and then to be able to get up and, and, and lean forward and, 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 and operate all the jammers. So the winch, when the real winch comes, it's a little bit bit smaller in shape so it should give us more room to move a few little adjustments on these uh, little blocks at the back here which allows you to cross winch um, there will be the uh, monitor will be stuck in the middle here next week we'll get the drawing for that um, working in this area is always an area where it's real important. It's like maybe the woman's galley. That's important. This is important to the sailing side. To have enough space in here, uh, you might be able to see the seat. Got a little cutout there. So if you want to dock, you can look down through the seat, see the, see the transom corner. Some guys get really good at it and they can dock it from downstairs. It's up to the guy uh, what's going on. The sliding hat, so all this is moved back a little bit, which is a little bit of surgery, as one would say, but when it's all finished, you, it'll be brand new. And that will be followed on to the next boat, the roof mold down there. This will be all modified. Um, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's what happens with a new boat. You perfect it. And when you look at this boat and you think, well, it's only a few feet bigger than the 52. But look at it. It's, it's, it's a beast, it's, you know. It's a much bigger boat. It's a much bigger boat. Yeah. Bigger freeboard. This roof alone is, is monstrous. The rig's going to be uh, really powerful. You're going to have four electric winches here, size 60s. Uh, at the back, there's size 50s. I think on the deck is a size 63 speed. So you can get some of the goodies up and down in front faster. Yeah. which is always something you want to do. The quicker you can get it to the top, the quicker you can get it down, the safer it is. And I think once you've wired this boat, you'll be able to sail it on your own. Right, getting off the dock may be a little tricky. It's got a bow thruster. It's going to make a big difference. You just, you juke and she will maneuver. If you know how to control the engines, you've got a, a really good chance of sailing this thing on your own. A lot of the uh, sailing equipment is coming back here. Yeah and some of the uh, sails up front will be on, on, on electric furlers. So they're powerful machines. Oh yeah. Don't kid yourself. These aren't uh, your average sort of charter boat where the sails maybe go up and down or whatever. These, these, these beasts get going. If it's a shorthanded couple, the beauty of a boat like this is, well, when you're going 20 knots, you shank a reef in the sail and drop down to 16. Oh. Oh, yeah. And then your boat is under, you're not pressing it and it's going. And I mean, this boat sailing at 16 is, is, is no harder press than a charter boat sailing at eight yeah. or nine. Yeah. And yeah. I think that that's one of the unsung or ununderstood advantages of a performance cat is how you can throttle the boat down and, and she's just yeah. easily, really easily driven. Get a lot of guys uh, that have sailed and they, and, and they sailed a five to six and it's always quite nice when they sort of say to you, everything works, everything's so simple. I think what I'd like to do, Johnny, is um, do a little walkthrough with you of the boat itself and to talk a little bit about where we've come in the last four months since we did our last video.
Yeah, so we've moved down into the cockpit on the 58 and uh, we're standing on a standard carbon cross version of the boat, which is this blending of e-glass, foam core and carbon fiber and epoxy resin. And on the standard boat, if you look over here at the aft beam, you'll see that this is a solid carbon fiber structure on the standard boat, along with the davits. One of the changes we made to the davits is we made them a little longer and a little straighter so the boats yeah, can come yeah, up flat. It comes up, on uh, um, up flat um, to make it a little easier. But it's, it's, it's amazing now, John, yeah. since the last time I was here, you, looking in at this space, right? Like you, you see how it's starting to take shape. So what they're doing now are, are you know, preliminary uh, mock-ups and cuttings and they're getting ready, you know, to start working on the furniture. If you turn around and you have a look at the the galley and stuff and yeah so you, you might just see the oh yeah that looks cool but this little settee uh, uh has already changed because we've always wanted in these boats if you're sitting you want to not have to stand up and look so from that platform with the cushion and all that you'll sit there and you can you know, get exactly. a pan panoramic view i mean look at the side window it's massive so you got a really nice view. And even if you were sitting back here, I mean, look at that. If it was an island or palm trees yeah. in front there, it would just look unbelievable, you know. Yeah. So it's going to be yeah. uh, really nice. Even the skylight on top there uh, is going to be quite uh, smart. It's It's been done before on boats yeah. a lot. Yeah. But, you know, we've incorporated that in. Looking at this again, so what you see here is... Um, this is all carbon fiber, these structural beams. You see a, a carbon fiber beam that runs across the boat here. Yeah. Um, I'm standing right here on, on the drain box because this is flush, yeah. all flush. And you can see also the huge opening now that we have with the doors stacking over and going off into the sides of the boat. So even the when- The one will roll in there. Yeah. The other one will we'll roll, roll, in there. roll to a point there. And when the Versa helm is down, we've sustained and maintained that perfect visibility for piloting the boat in yeah. foul weather, yeah. which has obviously always been a really <clears throat> important part, you know, the Versa Helm. As you walk in to the um, main saloon, you see also that all the support beams and the roof of this coach roof are, are all carbon. Um, it, it adds stiffness and that's important on this boat because it will have an overlapping Genoa, which, yeah. it, which attaches to the top of the coach roof. Those are the two, three little goodies in the roof there. And then if you pan up here, you'll see these are flush mount hatches. So the, they'll be flush with the deck and then they, they'll be drained down to drop out because you got to drain these hatches, water gets in them. So here we're in the walk-in bow locker and once again you can see that there's these really beefy carbon fiber stringers which run longitudinally across the whole boat to just stiffen it um, where it's really required and then we keep the e-glass on the sides which also leads to a, a slightly uh, less noisy boat, you know, when they're all carbon, they, they're like, you know, a bit like a drum, but, yeah, yeah. Um, but, but, but this carbon and e-glass combination leads to a really light and strong boat. And this is basically a walk-in bow locker. And over here, this is going to be a work workbench. That's, that's a workbench. And then <clears throat> a lot of this is to do with the water maker. The water maker, yeah. Uh, you know, the water maker's getting bolted in there. Yep. These big beams, yeah, are, because these panels are so big, you need to break them out, otherwise they'll pump, you know? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then if you go forward, they go right up into the bow. There's a lot of carbon because we have this big, what do you even call it, a Bombay hatch or whatever. Yeah, so where yeah. I'm standing here, this is all a hatch opening. So this is a custom made hatch that fits this bow locker that opens up this way. So this whole cavity has huge access for dropping in yeah. sails, equipment, yeah. kite boards, you know, and all that kind all of that stuff. Yeah, inside, yeah. yeah. It, it makes the bow area a little bit more usable. As w one thing I, I would say is that on these 58s and 62s and the 75s that we do in Cape Town, it is for the most part that the interior layout of the boat 
and really all of it is almost fully custom in a sense because each customer comes and you know we're doing one uh, later uh, 58 on order that's going to have all kinds of multiple children's beds on one side and for a big family in Europe and uh, we are doing one that's an owner's version which is hole number one which yeah. is only a three cabin version for a couple this boat here is a four cabin version mm. um, but as we're as we go back in the starboard hull he's elected to create what's called a Jack and Jill head so he's got a shower in the middle with two doors and then heads on either side um, which uh, I think is really sensible in a way because when you think about it how often is somebody standing in the shower on a boat during a 24-hour period, right? So you've taken this huge space to have two showers in a boat and you've really lost a lot of useful volume. And so I kind of really understand that. And if we walk uh, uh, more this way, now we're in the starboard forward athwart ship's guest, bag, bag, guest quarters. Um, and you can see you've got really a lot of headroom. The bed's really, really large. And over here, uh, Chippy's already started. This is a dry fit of the furniture. And it's funny, one of the things that he and I were talking about yesterday about furniture on the boat was he said, all of this furniture, because it's handmade and joined together, um, it's not held together with like, you know, seams. It doesn't creak or squeak. No, it's pretty. It's, it's yeah. pretty solid. It's glued. And it's glued, it's right? And so when you're it. sailing on a balanced catamaran, you're not hearing a lot of. <laughs> and it's a big complaint that a lot of people have of the more production-oriented boats are built in Europe that because of the their labor structures and things, all their furniture has to be done like out of shop, brought in, and it's not joined in the same way, and it's not dry fitted to the boat in the same way. And so the, these boats tend to be a lot quieter when you're actually sailing because mm. they're just not flexing around as much. The furniture's, well, the boats aren't flexing as much. The boats the are, are, not are very much. stiff, yeah. yeah. I mean, so you look at all the bits and pieces and there's yeah. things here that you can't even see because it's inside there. Yeah. You know, it's glassed over. The, the roof is, is if, if you saw a roof being made, you'd be quite shocked. I mean, there's, there's stringers and all kinds of things really um, holding that whole thing together. Sure, and so this yeah, is yeah. for some drawers, drawers and then and this stuff, is for a yeah. cabinet and this is obviously a hanging locker. Yeah, yeah. And you notice the fine effort, you know, like for little vents, little and, vents and things stuff, like that. Yeah. All these little things that Chippy seems yeah. to get just right. No, this is electrical here. Yeah, this is this a big electrical, electrical and here. there's batteries. If you notice, the batteries are come in in the middle of the boat. So okay. That, yeah. You know, it's a catamaran. You don't want heavy heavy stuff. Must be in the middle. It must be in the middle. Yeah. And then absolutely. she's got light ends. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so where I'm standing in, here is so basically, if you walk, if I walk in here, this is a um, a head and a vanity area, mm -hmm. and then there's a door that opens in into a shower that's here in the middle. And then on the opposite side, there's a door that offers in, and there's and also the, another, yeah, head another head and, yeah. and, and toilet. So the people that are staying in this suite here, they can come and, and use the toilet at yeah. night and the doors closed, but the shower um, can be shared by yeah, either, but, uh, when, or, when yeah. they want to use it. You yeah. just got to lock one side and yeah. this is your side and then they get the other side. Yeah, and then this, of course, along here is all just lockers and lockers, and, lockers and, lockers and drawers and storage. Yeah, so now we're in the aft starboard suite of the boat, which is being designed for this customer as a convertible office bedroom. So uh, this is one part of the bed, and then a larger part will slide out, and then it will slide back in, and then there'll be a desk um, and computer station and a really nice light-filled workspace. Um, I think many people have seen some of the... Um, convertible office desks that we've done on the Balance 442 and 482. And it's gonna be relatively similar in that sense, but obviously it's a much larger space, more headroom, wider, and be an even bigger bed. So now we're in the uh, port owner suite on the 580, which is a king size bed with a big window aft, the window above, um, storage underneath the bedroom. But then when you turn uh, and go forward, you have a big office, desk, Something dresser, and then... and storage, more cabinetry on the right side, and then a walk-in shower and bathroom. So we'll turn here so that 
you can see this space. Yeah, so you're looking, so now you're at the uh, back of the, of the bedroom where Johnny's standing, this will be a cabinet here. There'll be a dresser here um, and, and a sink. Um, and then in here, we've got a big, you know, standing shower with a glass partition. But this is really a big owner suite. It's like really nice. I think what 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 we do, you know, uh, we don't build a production boat. If you build a production boat, they will build a lot of modules outside and they'll just come and stick it in. Yeah. And you lose a lot of space by doing that. You, you build them faster, but you have to, you can't go around nookies and crannies here where we can, like as you say, we've seen something there, cut it, moved it in and got a lot of space out of it. We've utilized the space of the boat. Right. Um, and, and a lot of production boats that are fast, they will just put a panel in and now they, when you start, it's really big. And when you finish, it's really small, but we start big and stay big. <laughs> so, which, yeah. is, which is quite nice. I mean, right. this is the outside hull of the boat, you know. Yeah. And then the stringers that are running through here will um, become a feature of, of the boat. Well, can, one thing about see. this space here, it, which is custom done for him, is that you have one stairway going down, right? And one sliding privacy door. Yeah. To go to the forward cabin, we walk up into the saloon. We have a separate set oh. of stairs going down. This is the stairway that goes down solely to the uh, private guest suite on the port side of the boat. As you can see, you have the carbon roof and stringers. You have the big bedroom and the walk-up steps and then big drawers here, and there'll be cabinetry um, on the opposite side. But then in the front here, you have um, a shower. This is what, a bench for the shower. That's the beginning of it, yeah. The beginning of the shower and the bench, and they'll be there, and then you'll have a toilet so that the aft suite and this suite are completely separated from each other and completely and perfectly private. So this boat, all four cabins are really yeah, you know, quite apart and quite private, which is really, really nice. And you can pull that off on a 58, you know, pretty, pretty darn easily. I think what's quite interesting here <clears throat> is that this is quite a big area. And if full moves out the way, there's still more area through that hole. So that's a whole uh, sort of sail locker behind there. So uh, there's there's still a lot more yeah, going about that, that. Because there's another uh, Bombay hatch, Bombay hatch out there. there. So it's a so huge... It's quite quite different to the other side. Yeah. Um, but, but it is there and uh, that's not the end of the boat. On these boats, the standard boat comes with an aluminum rig, an aluminum crossbeam, and an aluminum lingeron uh, for the bowsprit. Um, the customer for this boat and also for number one, they decided along the way so, that they wanted to get, you know, full carbon rigs and carbon four beams and lingerons. And uh, those obviously have to be engineered and ordered and they're manufactured in Europe and then they're, sh and then they're shipped down. Yeah, so when we were in the port forward cabin on the boat, you saw that solid bulkhead. So in front of that is this huge bow locker with a raised Bombay hatch. You got st steps going down because it's quite deep down there. But yeah, you can throw stuff in there, not too heavy stuff, but it's another storage area. Right. The boat, yeah. yeah, and then over here, as on all of our boats, in between the two athwart shippers, you've got just a big cavity locker, which can be used for spare fuel, dive compressors, tanks, yeah, equipment. Yeah, and then, but the anchor, the anchor, anchor is also coming, coming into, through, yeah. Yep. So it'll be up and then, Behind, yeah, there's a lot of space where a lot of the mast equipment will come down, feeding back into the boat. Yeah. So, yeah, it, it, it gets filled up. You know, it's nice and big and open. But by the time you finish, there's an anchor chain. There will be uh, other equipment inside. Yeah, there. yeah. And then if we, as if we walk over on the port side, it could be the port or the starboard side, you see the... Um, you see the carbon fiber uh, dagger board trunk here. So the dagger boards on the boat are solid carbon fiber. 
And then if you um, actually look over here and look down, that's the 526 set. And that is the dagger boards for this boat. So much longer, deeper, but yeah. they're, they're a little bit wider. A little a wider, a little, little deeper, here. yeah. So those are 526 and that's, that's your 58. That's a 58 yeah. I mean, for yeah. this boat. Yeah, and these are also carbon. Yeah, full carbon. Full carbon dagger boards. Two and a half months of next year and we do this again, yeah. there'll be a big change. There might even be a color on the side. It's just start, yeah, so start, start, looking. start looking like, uh, yeah. I want one, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Great, well, listen, Johnny, I'm excited. Congrats. Thanks.